Then when Punk was actually winning, I think he, they said he was up like 5-1 or 5-2. Punk went to the character select screen and then said, why don't you ask your homeboy for some help now? He's gonna bring that salt. I mean, you got a cut, he's gonna put that salt on it. That's just what, damn. Put a look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play bad button check. Button check. What is up, Button Check fam? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. It is Monday and we got a whole week of checking these buttons. Chapters and links, as always, down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject. But without further ado, we's about to get it. Let's go. Oh, oh, got you in an idol, but currently literally rock with scissoring. Right in an idol, but currently literally rock with scissoring. Yeah, I started with like Nintendo Jaguar, Sega Saturn. <laughs> nice. That's what's up, cause I mean Game Boy, Game, Game Gear, Boy, <laughs> Sega Saturn, Sega CD. <laughs> it's, that sounds like similar to Friday the 13th, if I remember seeing on PlayStation. No, it's way like funner. You think? Oh, it's like a kind of Earth, Earthworm Jim kind of like. Really? Like All right, I'm gonna put that on my notes and remember listening to that. So who who you who you got? Man, to be honest. He's gotten away with it every time he lets it rip, though. Man, that button is so good. Just kind of like put yourself a little forward and also put something out. Oh, hey, good for a fucker. option. Jumps out of there to safety, too. Very nice call. Yep. Whoa, he takes a nice call. Yep. Whoa! Whoa, he takes a fireball back? That was cool. Whoa. All right, and now into the first set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off at the Red Bull Kumite. Man, they had the they had nothing but sharks in these pools. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Daigo was there because of the whole quarantine that he was under. As far as I heard, he's actually doing a lot better, but I'm sure he wasn't able to compete this soon. Anyway, it was like nothing but the best, and they had Reinhardt and F Word as commentators. It was amazing. Now, one of the main things that happened, well, I don't want to just single it out as the main thing, but the main thing is probably like the main story here, actually, um, is in the first time of Red Bull Kumite history, there was not an Asian representative as the winner. Laura, <laughs> oh no! Could be close! Tyrant! 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 You can't make this up! Tyrant! You can't make this up! Oh my days! That's right, it's the first time that it ever happened. So big up to Mr. Crimson, played his ass off. It was amazing. Okay, so that was no doubt like one of the biggest things that happened at the tournament besides all the hype and whatnot. But one of the things that stuck out the most was this amazing timeline, this story that happened between Punk and Mr. Crimson. Now we're gonna watch some brief clips and I'll put the link in the description field down below for the whole stream for Red Bull Kumite. I advise just go check that out. It is amazing. Yeah. Take this first round, Mr. Crimson. In the set of his life right now, this is probably Dude, more than grand finals so for him. There's so much pride on this set, man. <laughs> I mean, the winner is gonna talk absolute smack. Now, the reason why they're saying that is because there was some actual beef. It kind of was very reminiscent to remember Punk when, when he got into it with 801 Strider, Gustavo. Remember on uh, the Street Fighter League. Remember when Punk was just kind of like talking trash and Gustavo wasn't having it. He was like, "Don't talk to me like that. You better watch your mouth." This is very similar to that. You'll see in a second. Let's watch. Yeah, I hope there will be a handshake. I hope there will be, you know, some sportsmanship. But man, this is this is these guys yesterday playing in the team tournament. So they played in the team you tournament. You can see yesterday. the pop off. Saying it's free, it's free, <laughs> free man. you, free the you. Free you. Free. He's, he's been letting them have it. I mean, guys, for those of you who don't know, it all kicked off online when when Punk and, uh, and Mr. Crimson played on the Wanted series. On the Wanted series, because uh, obviously Mr. Crimson had beat Bonchan in that matchup 10-1. Mm. Yes. Right. So okay. when Mr. Crimson said thank you kills you, who's a fantastic carrying player from France for the training in the carrying matchup, Punk didn't take lightly to that. He didn't mm. like it. He said, look. Firstly, Bonchan's my guy. Secondly, he doesn't know the matchup. Right. You know what? I'll play you in I'll this matchup. I'll play you in the matchup. I'll show First you how the matchup goes. He was able to beat him 7-1, I believe. A very right? dominant seven finish. 7-2 or 7-1. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, really, really one-sided. But then after really that, there was, some, uh, there was some communication around 
that you were free. Uh, that well, yeah, yeah. French player specifically. Pump didn't just win. He went when he went five one up or five two up. He went into the character select screen and said, "Why don't you go and ask kills you for help now?" He wouldn't oh, even let him rematch. Oh, a lot of trash talk. Wow. Uh, so you know, and then it got at here. lunch yesterday, there was actually an in-person approach where yes, he came yes, to me and said, "If you've got anything to say, say it to my face. Yep, don't yep. do anything online." And we actually had to take them outside to have a manly conversation, so they didn't. It didn't get messy. Yeah, which which they did quite well, I must say. They did Shout quite well. Shout out to both of these guys for having that conversation. It ended, it ended still fairly no amicably. Yeah, exactly. There's still no love between them. <laughs> All right, so what do we know so far? So apparently it started online, right? So Mr. Crimson uh, beat Bonchan. You know, Bonchan was playing Karen. Then at that time, Mr. Crimson was thanking somebody, I guess, that was training him for that matchup. Punk then saw that and was like, nah, Bonchan's my guy. I don't like that you said that. Plus, he don't know the matchup. Why don't you play me? Then they meet here in like the first couple matches they had, I guess, in team battle and stuff like that, Punk actually won. Then when Punk was actually winning, I think he they said he was up like 5-1 or 5-2. Punk went to the character select screen and then said, why don't you ask your homeboy for some help now? Damn, like you, isn't this not Punk? This is Punk 100%, like the dude's gonna, he gonna rub that shit in. Like I said, very reminiscent to the point that after that match, was over in Punk 1, he then said, free you, y'all are free, free you, right? Well, I guess Crimson didn't like it, and during lunchtime, like the commentators were saying, he actually walked up to Punk and said, say it to my face. And here we are again, finding ourselves in a similar situation, once again, with Punk having somebody basically walk up to him and say, yo, we ain't in the game right now, say it to my face. We'll unpack that at the end, but first off, they actually meet again to battle to try to get to grand finals, here it is. See the look on their face, like they're so into it, like both of them want this so damn bad. No punish. Punk Such a hard back. matchup, man. Your execution's gonna be so on point. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Crimson, though, man, he was he, he was just playing. He was on a damn roll. Oh, count the head combo there. Crimson looking good now. Oh, yeah. This time he doesn't put fights afterwards. He knows he's minus. The teleport away. Kyle he goes right in the background here. The Punk. French are here. Punk evens up a little bit with a throw. All right, miss. Oh. Nice V skill. V skill into activation. Oh. Oh. Forward throw into the corner. Punk wants to make it to a big whiff. Gotta be careful. Woo! 63 seconds left. Oh! Oh, oh my days. Oh, he's gonna get it! Oh. Big oh. damage! Let up, Kong! He's gonna oh, get it! He's cooking him! What a hit will be enough! He's cooking him! One way he's gonna do it! Next he's gonna take Oh my god, the tension! Oh, the low! Oh my days. Ryan, this is so intense. Oh, Ryan, this is so intense. Anything. He's gonna whiff punish that limb. He doesn't want the great health to recover. Just one touch. Just touch him once. Boom! Boom! Here comes the pop off. Here comes the pop off. Oh, go for the handshake. Three one, Mr. Crimson takes it <laughs> and it eliminates Punk from the Red Bull Kumite here in London. I like our security. Gone. Okay, okay. So you see what happened? And he pops off. Very he walked up to him, shook his hand, but he kind of held it a little longer than he needed to. And then Punk kind of took it away, and then he went like this to Punk. And security kind of put his arm in the way, like, hey, y'all, calm down. But Mr. Crimson looked like he reached out again and said, GG's. Is here. I got two words for you, man. Monsieur Crimson! Monsieur Crimson! Allez! You gotta love F Champ, man. F Champ. You gotta love F Word. This, I cannot tell you guys enough how much the players have utilized this opportunity. And I must say a massive thank you to players like Punk, yes, like Tokido, exactly, exactly. like Gachikun. If we're being honest, had these guys just played here with no warm-ups, no sets prior, Punk would have won that match Punk pretty easily. Easily. Won that easily. He's given the kid the opportunity to learn yes. the match. Yes. And they've Tokido, gone back and forth. Tokido, they played, Chang, I guess, so many Gachikun, times before they've that. all played loads and loads of sets the every day matches. this week. Literally for like 5, 10, 12, even 14 hours on the trot just to make some sure that you some serious that tension, research man. that they needed. And look uh, at yeah, that. I'll tell you what as well. Can we just get a massive shout? Because I'll tell you guys something that you didn't see. They had that conversation yesterday. There was no handshake at the end. There was but no you know handshake. what? Now they shared the case. They had this match. And at the end, the and first thing was... Mr. Crimson did was he went over for a handshake. And Punk didn't hesitate. He said, good game. Well done. And I respect that. No matter how much trash talk there is in the FGC. And the reality is he manned up and he took it on the chin. Punk is that guy. I, I love mean, that. At the end of the day, yeah, he gave respect show. where respect is due. And that, you, what more can you ask from That's from it. That? That's it. What Hopefully the trash talk is over. Out of his chair. And he is moving on into the semifinals. Great, great job there. There's the handshake that he really wanted. <laughs> I love it. And yes, the 3-1 victory sends Punk home.
in the course. It's crazy, crazy. Stuff. There you have it, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you feeling about this hot one, man. Let's unpack some of this right now. What I like, okay, first of all, let's just say it was hype, right? And there was a moment where it looked like it was getting super heated, super heated to where the point where one of them was like, yo, let's take this outside. But here's the, the thing. Here's the thing that we are, we're always preaching, right? That we're always talking about it. hype or salt or trash talk is trash talk as long as you can keep it in the game, right? That's like the number one thing that the FGC, FGC tries to preach, right? You can get hype and you can get all this other stuff, but keep it in the game. And in the end, it looks like that's what they were able to do. Crimson actually posted this shortly after saying, I could say a lot, but I will say that I highly respect Punk the God for his level at Street Fighter V. I won 3-1, repeat after me, EU is not free. The FTC continues to react to this. Uh, I even laughed at Rob TVs. He was like, security tried to stop Crimson, left my ass off. This is the FTC, baby, he earned that pop off. Justin Wong responds saying, don't forget that there are people who said Dalzum needs buffs. Punk, I believe, posted before that saying that top eight or he made it to top eight, so stressful. And then after that, he said, he got me, nothing I can say, GG's to everyone. And that's what's up, that's how you hold that L. And I think a lot of people, especially in the replies, respected that. And that's all you can do, man. If you're gonna talk that shit like Punk did, like let's let's be real, Punk was talking that shit. He was talking it basically the same way he was talking it to Gustavo. The only difference is, is his opponent this time was able to come back and spank some ass. Ryan Hart, F word, love these dudes. They did an amazing job and big up to Punk and Crimson for bringing that hype and being able to be men enough, you know what I'm saying, mature enough to squash it at the end because that's what's up. So anyway, thank you guys once again for everything. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. You can. I better not get in my face. Cause I'll drop that motherfucker. Jesus, Brennan.